Hey, what's up guys? It's Dark Room Duels, and today we're going to be doing some Goblin Mystic Mind Test Hand. So this one's actually a Patreon request test hand for Izzy. So I'm excited to do this one because this deck is a very unique, interesting deck that uses an old school card that I've wanted to build the deck around for a very long time in the form of Goblin Attack Force. So Goblin Attack Force is a very old school card that is one of the best normal summons in the entire game in the early games of Yu-Gi-Oh! Because when this card is basically on the field, it's a 2300 bead stick, but there's a lot of cards in this particular deck to actually negate the effect to switch itself to defense position during the end of the battle phase after this card attacks, which really helps out the deck to be able to just normal summon a 2300 bead stick and swing which is really really awesome there's even an otk strategy in this deck that's very easy to pull off and is a super super fun way to actually end game so without further ado guys don't forget to like comment subscribe hit the bell there so you can come part notification squad and definitely check out the patreon down the description below for all those awesome words just like izzy did like in your name search during a single video getting a signed cards in the mail and even getting to request a deck profile every single month your patron along with test hands and definitely give izzy some love down in the comments down below so we're gonna get straight on into this guys like i said this is a very interesting deck i really like the way this one turned out it does play mystic mind which you can change out for some other cards but it's kind of cool to actually play it in this particular deck because it works really well with what the goblins are trying to do to be able to swing at your opponent and really build up your hand to be able to otk and kind of stall a little bit to go into some other plays and draw into your big plays because i have some really interesting tech cards for this particular deck so we're gonna go ahead and shuffle the deck up do a quick pile shuffle and see what we can actually draw for it and if you guys want to check out the deck profile it is down in the description below and it is a super spicy cool deck like i love the way that this deck turned out because goblins are such an interesting archetype i basically just focused this one around using the goblins that switch themselves into defense position there are a couple of other goblin cards that i did consider like scrounging goblin to put in this deck i he didn't make the final cut because i kept feeling like he was like too situational with moon mirror shield but it's still a really good card that i'll probably bring up in the deck profile so let's go ahead and see what we can do for our first test hand so we're gonna go ahead and draw into a mass chameleon this card is really good in the deck because basically if you have a monster with zero defense you put it back on the field and you can make it a rank four or synchro with it usually we're just gonna make a rank four with this you uh get a goblin marauding uh squad moon mirror shield mystic mine and a copy of Goblinburg. So this is a very simple hand that you're going to play against your opponent. You're basically just going to do some very simple plays against your opponent and throw out the copy of Mystic Mine against your opponent and basically kind of stall them out a little bit. Throw out the copy of Marauding uh, Goblin Marauding Squad and they're going to look at you and go, what are you playing? And I'm going to go, well, try me. And then I'm going to activate the copy of Moon Mirror Shield to boost this card up by just a little bit to be able to go into a monster that has basically the highest attack on the field because when you're your opponent attacks into you this monster or whenever you attack the monster gains attack points or reduces its attack points so it's always 100 higher than the battling monster which is really good because basically it makes this card unable to be destroyed by battle now if you guys are unfamiliar with mystic mind which i'm sure a lot of you actually know what this card does if your opponent controls more monsters than you do your opponent cannot activate monster effects or declare attacks and if you control more monsters than your opponent does then you can't activate monster effects or declare attacks but once per turn during the end phase if both players control the same number of monsters destroy this card which is why you have to normal summon during your first turn because if you don't and you just go okay mystic mind pass this card actually destroys itself which is kind of neat but it can kind of buy you a turn as well because if your opponent just normal summons a single monster they can't activate the effect and they pass back to you it does destroy itself which is the simplest way to actually out mystic mine is just to normal summon one monster match my monsters and then it destroys itself which is pretty balanced for what the card is so that's an easy way to actually play around it but it buys us a turn so if we go into the next turn and they leave us an opening of a monster we can draw for turn which is another goblinberg now here's where stuff gets interesting so if they have one monster and this card does destroy itself let's just go for instance and it did buy us a turn we can then normal summon out the copy of goblinberg it will switch itself to defense position special summon out the other copy of goblinberg and then we're going to overlay both of these monsters to then overlay into a copy of utopia double detach a material off of this card and then we're going to grab a copy of double or nothing from the deck 
And then once we grab the copy of Double or Nothing, you're going to then swing at your opponent for the first attack after you throw a Utopia on top of it. So this will actually happen simultaneously, but you have to have a Double or Nothing in the deck to be able to go off with it. You'll then swing at your opponent, negate the attack, drop the Double or Nothing, and then swing again for 10,000. And then usually the monster that they first normal summon will have less than 2,000 attack points. So you can just kind of swing through the monster, which is kind of a neat strategy. It's a little bit kind of weird, and I wish Goblins had more support, but this is a really decent board for what the deck does. And then you can swing at your opponent with this card if they do live through that to then inflict 100 points of damage and basically be able to out any single monster which is kind of cool like moon mirror shield is a really neat card that can even out like dragoons and stuff because this card will activate and increase the monster's attack points to 100 points higher so it doesn't matter if they've already negated something you just swing through the dragoons which is kind of neat so let's go into the next test hand guys i want to show you a really cool little strategy that i came up with what goblins do and it's really hilarious because it's really simple to actually draw into so all you have to do is have a goblin burke in your hand you have a copy of any level four monster which we're going to have a copy of goblin attack force in our hand you have a copy of a ojama magic or ojama trio and a copy of final attack order so if you get this hand right here we're just going to go ahead and say that we also got a copy of um mystic mind i'm going to show you guys the ideal hand and you have plenty of ways to actually grab these cards out of the deck you can draw into them and this is kind of one of those just funny hey it popped off kind of moments you don't even have to have the copy of the mystic mind you can just have any of the other cards but we're just going to say this is our ideal hand because this is a hilarious feel so what you're going to do and this is very gimmicky it's hilarious though but uh, what you do is you basically set both of these cards on the field, you activate the copy of Mystic Mind, and then you drop the copy of Goblin Attack Force. You then pass to your opponent, they're probably not going to, they're probably just going to normal summon something to their side of the field, and they're going to use the effect to pop the Mystic Mind. That's usually what I do when I play against Mystic Mind. If I don't have a spell or trap removal, I'll just normal summon something or set a monster, and then I'll wait. Let's say Mystic Mind gets popped. So we're going to go ahead and draw for turn into a copy of Goblin Elite Attack Force. Now here's the really neat thing. You can then activate the copy of Ojama Trio. When you activate the copy of Ojama Trio, you're going to give your opponent three tokens. Okay, All three of those tokens will actually special summon themselves into defense position on your opponent's side of the field. We're just going to use these three as a representation of the tokens that they're going to have. So they're like, okay, cool. I get three tokens. Cool. I'll just link someone with them next turn. No, you won't. I'm going to activate the copy of final attack order. So final attack order goes, Hey, everything has to switch to attack. These tokens, by the way, have zero attack, which is kind of cute because now I can normal summon out the copy of Goblinberg. It will switch itself to defense. I'll special summon out the copy of the goblin elite attack. And then my copy of final attack order will go, Hey, nope, has to go to attack mode. So this will switch back to attack mode. I can then overlay these two monsters that I have on the field. If I didn't draw into a level four, I could just use these two monsters. It doesn't really matter. And then you'll overlay these on top of one another. You don't even really have to have the Goblinberg. As long as you have two monsters on the field, it's fine. You overlay these two on top of one another. You make a copy of Utopia Double against your opponent. They start squirming because they can't do anything. You then detach a material of from the uh, Utopia Double. You search the deck. This is where they could Ash Blossom you if you have if they have an Ash Blossom, where Judgment comes in handy to actually draw on a Judgment. You'll add the copy of the Double or Nothing. And then once you add the copy of Double or Nothing from deck to hand, you throw a Utopia on top of it and you go, hey, that's a real nice uh, Ojama token you got there. Swing. Oh, wait, let me just negate that attack. And then drop Double or Nothing and then swing in for 10,000. They'll take a total of 10,300 damage. And then also with whatever monster you had else on the field, you can swing with that monster as well, which Goblin Attack Force will try and switch to defense and then immediately switch back because of the final attack order as well, which is kind of a neat little combo for the deck to be able to kind of pop off to then deal them a total of about 12,900 damage in this particular instance, which is really funny. It's really hilarious when you summon multiple copies of like Utopia Double or even summon out a copy of number 60. Because if you summon out number 60 on top of this and you have a field that looks a little bit more with the Utopia Double like this, 
and you double the attack of your copy of Utopia Double, which is a little bit overkill, but it works. You can double the attack of your Utopia Double, and then this card will actually go to 10,000. When you attack and negate the attack, you can drop the double or nothing, and it will go up to 20,000 because it doubles the attack, and you swing into one of the tokens for 20,000 damage, which is hilarious. I love doing that. I thought that was one of the neatest little combos that was in this particular deck. I love the way that it plays. I considered actually playing Ojama Duo for that reason because I can actually search Ojama cards and playing those in there because I thought it would be really funny to be able to pop off with that particular play. So that's one of the little cool combos that the deck plays into. The Mystic Mine is really there for to get you through the first turn, which I really like it. And plus, it works really well for this deck because it's like really in theme almost because it's like the goblin cave almost, which is kind of cool. I liked the way that that actually worked because it it's really like when Izzy asked me for this particular deck, he was like, Hey, do mystic mine, um, goblin attack force because it's like the goblins in the cave when I talked to him about it, which I thought that was kind of cool. Like mystic mine is their hangout. So I thought that was kind of neat. So Let's go ahead and draw. We're going to draw into an Upstar Goblin. It is technically part of the theme because it's goblins. So we're going to draw into an Upstar Goblin, uh, Ojama Trio, Metaverse, a copy of Pot of Extravagance, and a Final Attack Order. So see, this is what I'm talking about. It's really easy. You have multiple draw cards. The only problem in this particular hand is Pot of Extravagance and Upstar Goblin. Now, I will mention you guys, I did almost play Scrounging Goblin over the Goblin Upstar Goblin and another card in this deck. I will probably bring it up in the deck profile, but that is a card that I'm not currently playing in the deck, but you can play it if you want to because it does search in the deck. But I really kind of just felt like it didn't super work with the way that the theme worked. So we're going to go ahead and activate the copy of Pot of Extravagance and we're going to shuffle up this extra deck really quick and see what we can hit. Um, and hopefully we don't hit all of our Utopias or our Utopia Doubles. Even if we do, we still have plays in this deck because we have the final attack order and we have the copy of the Goblins in our hand. Well, like we have, we have this so we can survive through. And we also had the final attack order and Mystic Mind just in case our opponent does something against us. So we're going to go ahead and shuffle the deck up and hopefully we can get at least a monster out of this. So we're going to go ahead and banish the top three and the bottom three, I think this time, doesn't super matter what you banish um, in the extra deck, as long as you don't hit all the Utopias. So we didn't, we hit two of the Utopias and one double. That's basically the big card that you're gonna be using in the extra deck to get to is those particular cards. So we're gonna go ahead, lay these here so we can see exactly what we have in our hand. And then we're gonna draw two. So once we draw two, we're gonna draw into another Ojama Trio and a Mystic Vine. So this is okay. Um, the only downside of this is, is if we don't have a monster on the field, you can't immediately activate Mystic Mind because it's just going to destroy itself if you're going first. So keep that in mind as you're playing. So we're going to go ahead and set these three on the field. Even four, you could set four if you wanted to, which is the copy of Ojama Trio. You could set that on your field and pass because you can't draw any more cards with the copy of Upstar Goblin with the Pot of Extravagance. So... Once we pass to our opponent, as soon as they go off with their turn, we're just going to immediately activate a copy of Metaverse. So if they do go and say, okay, well, what are you getting? And you search out the copy of your Mystic Mine and throw it on your side of the field immediately, because this card lets you either activate it or add it to your hand. You can just immediately activate the copy of Mystic Mine against your opponent. And you're like, okay, cool. I'm just gonna activate Mystic Mine directly and you're not going to be able to do anything for the rest of the turn upon normal summon chains, activate this, and now they have a monster. Then when you go into uh, end phase, you can just go ahead and activate the copy of the Ojama Trio, giving them the three monsters, because you're going to get a draw two during the next turn, um, which is going to help us out a little bit, because we have the copy of Upstart Goblin, which is going to give us another draw, and then we have our draw phase as well. So we're going to go ahead and draw for turn, which is a Goblin Merc. Okay, at this point, if we draw into the card, we're fine because the Mystic Mind doesn't apply to us because it's if your opponent controls more monsters than you do, your opponent cannot activate monster effects or declare attacks, but we don't have any monsters and they have four because this is their normal summon right here and then they have all three of these as well. We can still go off. They can't. So now we're going to draw for our copy of our Upstart Goblin and we draw into a Rota. This is where you win, okay? You're going to activate the copy of Rhoda and search the deck. They're going to go, oh, okay, cool, whatever. Add the copy of the Goblinberg, or add the copy of the Goblin Attack Force, and we're going to do the same combo that we did before. You can actually look at what you have and go, okay, we got it. 
you're going to go ahead and send these to the graveyard. And once you send these to the graveyard, normal summon out that copy of Goblinburg, switch it to defense, then chain to it, because it's hilarious to final attack order and go, oh, nope, goes to attack mode. And then you just overlay these. You overlay both of these, you summon the copy of Utopia Double, and all of these will go to attack position as well. Summon the copy of Utopia Double, detach the goblins from it, and then immediately special summon, or add from deck to hand, excuse me, the copy of Double or Nothing, shuffle the deck up, once you shuffle that deck up really quick, you're going to slam a copy of the Utopia on top of it. Then once you slam Utopia on top of it, you swing into one of the Ojama tokens, drop the copy of Double or Nothing, and then negate the attack. Drop the copy of Double or Nothing, swing into the Ojama token, and you win game. That's really funny, because Mystic Mind just says that if your opponent controls more monsters than you do, you cannot activate the effects of, uh, or activate the effects of monsters or declare an attack. Um, and if you control more, then you have the ability that you can't activate monster effects or declare attacks. And then once per turn during the end phase, if both players control the same number of monsters, destroy this card. They have more monsters. I swing for 10,000. I win because final attack order bumps them into attack position. That's funny. And it pops off. Like, it goes off. Like, which is what's really cool. And then if, even if they played through it, once this goes away, I just Ojama Trio them for another three tokens if they get rid of any of the tokens, which is really funny. And then when a token is removed from the field, they also lose 300 um, effect damage, which is really funny. And I have a backup Mystic Mine if they outed one of the Mystic Mines as well, which is really, really bad. Like, that's really bad for them because they're not going to be able to play through anything. Like, they're not going to, they could not activate monster effects. That's just it. They could not do anything really against me. Um, the only place that they can even hit you in this deck is if they do have a three of that not every single deck plays which is Ash Blossom. And a lot of decks do play it, don't get me wrong, but not every single deck plays Ash. Like, you go up against Monarchs, they don't play Ash. You play, go up against, and I know that's like not tier one deck, but you go up against like Monarchs, they don't play it. You go up against like old school BA, they don't play it. Like, a lot of decks nowadays, ha there's certain matchups that you will get that you just don't play against Ash. So you run it, or they don't draw it, which is hilarious. So let's go ahead and see what we can do for the next test hand. And I have to say, I haven't bricked with this deck the whole time I've been playing it. It always draws into at least something, because you play Mystic Mind, you're going to have like five chances to hit it, which is pretty good. And then also you have the backup plays of just having a bunch of really big normal summons on this deck. So we're going to go ahead and cut the deck really quick. Once we cut the deck, we're going to draw. We're going to draw a new Mass Chameleon, a copy of Goblinburg. We already have a rank four here. Moon Mirror Shield, we're already fine. We can just normal something. Goblin Attack Force and a copy of Final Attack Order. Okay. Not bad. Not bad for our first turn at all because you have the copy of Goblin Attack Force. You can go ahead and normal summon that, set the copy of the Final Attack Order, activate the copy of Moon Mirror Shield, and pass. That's all you need to do. Once you activate this and put it on your copy of Goblin Attack Force and activate the copy of Moon Mirror Shield, you then pass to your opponent. If they can't out this card, then they're going to put something in defense position because they know they can't swing. You flip the copy of uh, Final Attack Order. Even if they do out this card, it will go to Grave, but they will have something, and this card will go off that if this face of card is sent from the field of the graveyard you can or you pay 500 live once and place this card on either the top or the bottom of the deck just for conversation's sake i'm going to put it on the bottom of the deck just to see what we draw so we have the final attack order still in the field and we're going to draw for turn now we draw into mystic mine okay now we really have it so we're going to go ahead and we're going to normal summon out the copy of Goblinburg. And then if you want to, you can special summon out this card. It cannot be normal summon if you control level 5 or higher monster, which we don't play anything level 5 or higher. If it's normal summon, you get to target one monster with zero defense in the graveyard and special summon it that target in face of defense. Its effects are negated and you cannot special monsters other than from the extra deck. Uh, other than from the extra deck during the turn you activate this effect, which is fine. We're not going to special summon anything but using this effect anyways, if we did normal summon this card, but we're just going to special summon this card out to the field. They'll both go to an attack position, overlay them both. And then if you want to, you can lock your opponent down, depending on how many monsters they have. You can start with the Mystic Mine if you want to start with the Mystic Mine. And then you have utility right here, depending on what you need. If you need to just blow board, you throw out a copy of Exiton Knight and you blow board against your opponent. If you don't need to blow board and you feel like you can swing through you summon utopia double so you have a little bit of a toolbox here if you need to shut down a field 
Uh, you can't actually use Baguska because Baguska will have to switch itself to defense position and then final attack order will slam it into attack position. So it won't work with this, which is a little bit unfortunate, but you're kind of already using Mystic Mind, so why would you summon that? And then you've also got Zeus that if one of your monsters battles, you can just throw Zeus on top of it. So usually I just made this deck to be kind of Utopia Double Turbo because it really works with this particular lineup of monsters. But then you just search and you go Utopia Double, Utopia, and then swing for game again. So you kind of just pop off with the copy of Utopia with the goblins again. So as you can see, the deck is super consistent like in what it does. And it's very, very, very simplistic in what it tries to do as well, which is what's really nice about a deck like this, is it's so like old school, but you throw in tech cards into the deck and make it work, which is what's really neat. And I really love playing Final Attack Order. Another card that I considered playing in here was Fusion Dragon, the Dual Mode Beast. I thought that would be pretty funny, but you don't have a real way to get to your copy of Skill Drain, which is a little bit unfortunate. I thought about playing Underdog in here as well, which didn't really work because it just turns off my monster effects and then my opponent's monster effects. So it was kind of weird. So it didn't really work as well as Mystic Mind did. So let's go ahead and do one more test hand see what we can get. We're going to draw into an extravagance, a copy of extravagance, hopefully not three, skill drain, goblin attack force, and a mystic mind. So even with a hand like this where you go open up double extravagance, you're still okay. Like you can just extravagance and then shuffle up that extra deck, go three, six right here, and then we're going to hit this right here, which is fine. It doesn't even matter that we hit the Zeus. The Zeus is not even like, if you want to play this deck, you don't even have to play the Zeus. You can drop the Zeus if you want to. Uh, we're going to draw into a double or nothing and a copy of Moon Mirror Shield. Again, we're fine. You activate the copy of Mystic Mine. You normal summon out the Goblin Elite Attack Force. You set the copy of Skill Drain. You activate the copy of Moon Mirror Shield. You pass. That's it. When your opponent goes in uh, for their turn, if they can't deal with this, they're just going to summon one card and deal with the copy of Mystic Mine. If they deal with the Mystic Mine by popping it, you then go pass. My, my turn again. I'm going to draw into a final attack order. That's fine. That's actually really good. And then if they do anything and they out the copy of Mystic Mine, you can just activate Skill Drain if you want to. If you hit all the copies of Utopia Double. So we're going to use this again. Hopefully, if you don't hit all three, you still have plays. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and do this. And then do this. And if this has a Utopia Double and a Utopia, we're golden. We have Utopia, we have Utopia Double. See, you're golden. Like, that was the best mill I have ever done in my life. That was the best. I have never banished exactly what I needed and then hit it with double extravagance. That's really cool. That has never happened. So we're going to go ahead and draw. We're going to do a Ojama Trio and a copy of Goblinburg. If you hit the Utopia Double... You'd flip this and you just uh, negate all spells and traps. They can't, or they uh, not negate all spells and traps. They get all monster effects. And then you just normal summon. Like you literally can just normal summon. You have a double or nothing. You have two double or nothings that you can get to now. And you can set the copy of the Ojama Trio and the final attack order. And then if you want to just pass and swing with this, they're not going to have an out to this. And they're going to want to deal with these before they deal with these back row. You pass against your opponent. You draw for turn again. Hey, another Goblinberg. That's real nice. Activate the final attack order. Chain the copy of Ojama Trio. Give your opponent the three tokens on their side of the field. Once you give them the three tokens, normal summon this out. If you didn't activate this, you only activate this if you hit the Utopia and the Utopia Double. Then you overlay both of these like this. The Goblinberg's effect will actually let you special summon the other Goblinberg if you want to. I will. I probably would just to keep the copy of the Goblin Elite Attack Force on the field. You make Utopia double, and then you detach again, and then you search double or nothing. And then once you search double or nothing, you, it's probably going to be on the top of the deck. Nope, wasn't on top of the deck. You search double or nothing, and then activate uh, swing with the Utopia that you overlay on top of the Utopia double. It goes to 5,000. And then when a monster attacks and negated target that attack monster on during the battle phase, its attack is doubled. You can attack once again in a round. So you swing, negate, and then drop one, and then drop the second one. And then like you can chain them, which is really funny because you can just go like this, go bam, double, bam, double again. This thing is at 10,000 now, swing again, and then it will go to 20,000, which is really funny. Uh, because it'll double once, which goes from 5 to 10, and then 10 to 20. And so you swing for 20,000. You did 20,300 damage 
just for that one swing, which works. And that was really good. Like, that was really, really good. Especially for being a Goblin Attack Force deck. Like, the deck is really funny to be able to play with. Like, I really like the way that it turned out for this particular deck. It's really fun to play. And I really have wanted to build something with Goblin Attack Force for a long time. I just didn't think there was enough cards. And then Izzy was like, hey, I really want you to build a Goblin Attack Force deck. And I was like, you know what? Bet. Let's do it. So I did this, and it turned out really well. It turned into a Utopia Double deck, which I love. Uh, you guys know I love Utopia Double. It's one of my favorite cards in the game. And you can throw out Mystic Mine in this deck, and it works, because it's like the Goblin is in the cave. And you get to summon one of the coolest monsters in the entire game, which is Goblin Attack Force, which is a really cool old-school card. So anyways, guys, this is Dark Arm Duels. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Hit the bell in there so you can come and the notification squad. And... Thank you so much, Izzy, for requesting this video. This was a lot of fun to actually do. It's a very chill deck to be able to play with because basically you just activate Mystic Mine and then throw out Goblin Attack Force with Moon Mirror, or you just normal summon out a Utopia, or you special summon out a Utopia Double and swing for game with Ojama Tokens, which is really fun. If you guys want to check out the deck profile, it is down in the description below, and we'll see you guys in the next video. See you later, guys.